What's up guys, it's Rumbling Man coming to you today from Florida and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a wonderful set of bass pickups. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way hand wound from Santa Barbara, California, V Seymour Duncan quarter pound PJ pickup set. So you just heard the clip and you know that these things sound awesome and I've got other clips for you today as well. So make sure you stay right here on the Rumbling Man channel to get the load down on these sweet pickups uh, from Seymour Duncan. And let me know in the comments if you like these pickups, if you've tried them uh, and what you think. This is actually my first uh, review of a set of bass pickups. Uh, even though I've wanted to review some for a long time, I've wanted to review these for a long time, and I hope I'll have many more bass guitar uh, pickups to review in the future. That one needs new pickups, and I'm sure I will have uh, many more. So let's check out uh, these amazing pickups by Seymour Duncan. <laughs> So very, very cool. These are beautiful pickups, super sweet. They got the Seymour Duncan logo on them. Uh, beautiful magnets in these and just great. Now this bass guitar is a really cool bass. This is actually the Squire Vintage Modified Precision Bass uh, PJ. And I really like this bass. However, I was kind of always disappointed in the stock pickups and it's the weirdest thing in the world. videos that I've made with this bass in the past, they just never, I just never dug the sound, but I do now because it was time for us to make an upgrade. And I'll tell you, we had our first rehearsal with these pickups last night. They sounded absolutely incredible. Uh, and you're going to get to hear them a lot today. I think sometimes if you don't particularly feel blown away by the sound of a more affordable bass, upgrading the pickups uh, is one great way. Changing the strings and upgrading the pickups are two fast ways uh, to improve the bass more than you can really imagine. It's a wonder what a fresh set of strings and a fresh set of pickups uh, can do. Before I talk more, let's take another listen to these pickups real quick. Um, I want to give you a listen to kind of how they sound for picked playing because the thing is these pickups have always been really popular uh, for rock pickers. And for picks today, I'm going to use this really cool bass pick that the bass player for REM gave me. Pretty neat and it's just been sitting around not used for some years. So we're going to use that. I'm going to plug it up and then uh, for amp cab simulation and interface and some effects today, I am using the Line 6 HX Stomp, which is currently my favorite pedal for uh, bass guitar and the patch I'm using is my own uh, Rumbleville 19 uh, patch for HX Stomp which you can get, link in the description, uh, for only $3.50. This bass is strung up with a brand new set of DR handmade strings, Black Beauty, 
uh, bass strings. Very popular strings, very cool. Um, I've found with older Black Beauty sets, they tend to get uh, a little more dead in sounding over time and lose their mid-range over time. And for a lot of people, that that's a really cool sound. I just like them because they feel cool and sound cool. I've got them on my five-string jazz bass back there as well. So really cool strings on a really cool bass, but the coolest part is the pickups. And I want to give a shout out to my guitar tech, Jeff, for the great work he did on this bass uh, right here in Florida yesterday uh, with a new setup and the pickup installation as well. Really appreciate him and the great work that he does here in town. Though the quarter pound bass pickups have been known uh, widely as being heavier rock pickups, they're actually very versatile for a number of styles um, of music. They're not just for uh, heavy hitting, uh, you know, metal or rock or speed metal or uh, you know, any kind of heavier music like that. It's not just for that. I, quite honestly, they're really incredible pickups that pack um, a lot of punch. Uh, and I think you can get a range of cool tones from these pickups. We're using them for worship music in my church. And so far, I'm really loving the way they sound through our system. So I actually got these through a set on Amazon uh, that includes the pickups as well as a polishing kit uh, and a little tuner. Really great little set that I got on Amazon. I've got a link in the description where you can check it out for yourself. I noticed at the time I got it, it was the same price to get this like gift set that it was to get just the pickups by themselves. So I went all in, really cool set. So something very noticeable that sets these pickups apart, check out those magnets. Look at the size of those things. To me, that side is always a very, very good thing. Uh, these not only um, expand the magnetic field, they expand the frequency range. And what they do is they give you a very full, very punchy sound. And it's gonna give you a lot of mids in your sound, so they're a great combination with Black Beauty strings. Uh, and it's gonna be right there in your face. And I like for bass tone to be both articulate uh, and punchy. And so for a PJ set, uh, there's a lot of nice articulation that you can get uh, with this bridge pickup. We're gonna do a little funk demo with just the bridge pickup uh, and the tone on 10. And uh, let's see how this thing sounds. strike of the string with these provides full low end bite with plenty of sustain and in most modern styles of music sustain is something you don't want to kill whether you're playing modern praise and worship music uh, whether you're playing heavy hitting rock music you know blink 182 smashing pumpkins you know some of those bands have used these pickups on stage one of the reasons i went with the quarter pounders uh, is because for one thing they're fairly affordable um, like if you take a look at all the pj pickups that are out there in this particular price range, to me, there's really not anything available uh, that comes close to the value that you get with these. Seymour Duncan, obviously being one of the biggest names uh, in pickup design and creation ever. I mean, it's a brand that you know you're getting a product that you can trust and that you're going to love. Of course, before this was a popular PJ set, it was a popular precision set. Uh, so let's take a listen to just the precision uh, pickup. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to roll the tone knob off about 20%. So it's going to be on about 8 uh, and let's kind of see how it sounds with some of the more classic uh, Motown-esque uh, playing that I love so much. Let's, let's hear it. So very, very cool. If you've got a bass that you like, you don't mind the feel of it, but you're just not getting the sounds that you dig or there's something about the bass that's not doing it for you, you know, upgrade the pickups and get you a set of Seymour Duncan pickups. Uh, Seymour Duncan quarter pounders uh, are incredible. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, some really cool adventures with these pickups, maybe doing some recording, uh, some live stuff. So uh, all in all, um, a really wonderful upgrade. And these are pro level 
pro-grade pickups, great not just for rock, amazing for rock, but great not just for rock. Uh, as you can see from this video, they're great from a range of different styles as well. As always, God bless you guys, and thanks so much for checking out my video today. What do you think of these pickups? What do you think of how the quarter pounds sound? I would really love to hear your thoughts in the comments of this video. Uh, if you enjoyed the demo today, do me a favor, go on and hit like, and do me an even bigger favor, and go on and subscribe to the Rumbling Man channel where we review bass gear, uh, guitar gear, recording gear, uh, just everything a musician needs to do our jobs. You can also hit me up on social media. Uh, I post pretty often on Facebook and Instagram at Rumblin' Man, but ultimately it all points right back here uh, to the main thing, which is the YouTube channel. I'm also on some crowdfunding websites as I'm trying to get this thing to sustain itself. Uh, if you'd be interested in uh, supporting the Rumblin' Man channel, I'm on Patreon and PayPal and I would appreciate your help, but there's never any pressure to do that, as obviously uh, there's no way everyone can afford to do that, so ultimately stay and be blessed uh, by the content. If you're viewing on a YouTube browser on the screen around me right now, you can see some videos to some other bass-related things that I really dig and that I think you will dig too, so make sure you check those out. And guys, until the next video, I'll see you soon.